Okay. Uh, first, I wanted to ask you about the Tennis Night in America and the youth education event. Uh, what would you say are the main objectives of the of those two events, and why would you suggest people to join? Well, it's a great initiative um, for the next five days to get parents the opportunity to sign their their children up for youth tennis for the spring and summer programs. Um, there's over 700 facilities participating across America, and there's a website, tennisnight.com. You go in, you put in your zip code, and it'll bring up all the local events, activities that are going around through the weekend, through Monday night, uh, in conjunction with this event. Obviously, culminates with the BNP Paribas showdown at Madison Square Garden Monday night, um, with 1.2 million up for prize money. Venus Williams, Anne Ivanovich. Um, but really the idea is to get the juniors into tennis, get them introduced to the sport, get them out there playing, um, getting them off the couches and, and starting to exercise. Yes, and now that you mentioned the BNP Pariba Showdown, I would like to use the opportunity to ask you something. Uh, we've been having a discussion on women's tennis club regarding the choice of players, uh, the, uh, the players that are chosen to participate at the exhibition event. So how in particular are the players chosen? Is it based on their grand slam titles, year and number one rankings, popularity, or something else? The players, I believe, um, were originally the grand slam champions of the year past. We've had a few injuries, so we've had to make um, some replacements to the event, but still a great showdown um, with Kim Kleisters and Venus, Svetlana Kuznetsova, um, yes. and Anne Ivanovich joining for Serena Williams. Uh, in general, like, uh, what do you think about uh, the state of women's tennis in the U.S. in particular? Well, I think the state of the sport is strong. We have a lot of people participating throughout the country. Uh, as far as professional tennis, um, really, since Venus and Serena have come up, there's been a little bit of a gap. We saw Melanie Udan break through at the U.S. Open last year. Um, it remains to be seen if she'll go on to be a Grand Slam champion, a top ten player. She's still very young. Um, but there's no question we need a few more girls um, to come up through the ranks um, for the American tennis fan. I mean, we're so lucky that Venus and Serena have been around the game for so long and been so popular. Um, but from what I've been told, there's a great crop of girls coming up that are 15, 16, 17, kind of on the cusp of um, becoming professional tennis players. So we'll see what unfolds in the next few years. Yeah, I, I wanted to say where, uh, what the cause of that gap uh, before. You're saying that there are young girls now that have certain prospects, but why, why, what would you point out as the cause of the gap? And do you think that uh, this uh, youth registration event can help promote tennis and bring future champions? Well, I hope so. I think the more kids we get out playing tennis and expose them even to the sport, the more they're learning, the, the better pool of players that we'll have to choose from. A lot of women's sports have taken off in the last 20 years in the United States, uh, but women's tennis is the leading sport, the most prize money, the most global exposure, um, the longest, one of the longest running women's professional sports. And we just want to get the kids back to playing it, learning the basics at a young age, getting out there and playing tournaments, competing against other kids their own ages. Um, and this is a great initiative by the USTA that's helped making that happen. Yeah. Yes, it's not all about a professional tennis, isn't it? It's about recreation and making kids healthy. Absolutely. I mean, in this country right now, we're, we're faced with a severe problem of um, obesity and inact inactivity by children. So this yes. is really to help them get up off the couch, get some exercise, and get active. 